I'm Chuck Gilmore. I'm going to give you exercises that are designed specifically for the pole chest high larynx vocal type, which happens to be mine, by the way. Now we have one physical goal, and that is to reduce the mass of the vocal cord as the pitch ascends. If we can do this, you should be able to sing higher while the mass or the thickness of the vocal cords thin. This will result in singing higher with less pull or reach. Our first exercise is called bubble lips and it's done on a five tone. So it sounds like this. This will be for the gentleman first. Place your fingers here on your cheeks, barely touching your teeth, and you create a floppy lip. You could use your knuckles or like this. Notice I'm saying ah, uh, ah uh, behind it. Ah. Uh. I'll demonstrate this for you with one hand. I prefer you use two. You can also use your knuckles. Or you can prop your cheeks up like this. Find one that works for you. I'm going to do it with one hand so I can play it for you. Ready? The next exercise we'll do is the same scale, however, with a tongue trill. Looks like this. One word of caution on both of these exercises is be careful not to let the voice crack. In other words, you don't want to go into falsetto while you're doing these exercises. Now we'll proceed to the second exercise using the same bubble lips and tongue trill, this time on the one and a half octave scale. Now it's difficult for me to do this when I have a beard, I can't do it very well. For some reason, it slows my lips down. I'll try and do it without holding my lips. You'll get the idea. But I'd like for you to, again, hold on to them you know, with your knuckles or your fingers or prop it up like that. once without playing for you so you can really hear it. Now the same exercise, this time with the tongue trill. The second set of exercises are called bratty nays. 
We'll use the five tone scale first. The bratty nay sounds like this. Nay, 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 nay. It's got a little bit of a silly bratty sound to it. Some people call it a puppet voice. And uh, the effect of this exercise is that it tends to thin the vocal cord so that as you go higher, there's less mass, there's less weight of the vocal cord. And that should facilitate a transition from your chest voice into your head voice. Started on the five tone with this bratty nay. Nay, 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 same exercise, this time on a different scale. It's called the octave repeat scale. It sounds like this. Our third use of the bratty nay will be on the one and a half octave. Sounds like this. Nay, 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 Eventually, we want to eliminate all of the bratty sound, but initially it's very helpful to get you into your head voice, reducing the thickness or the mass of the vocal cord itself. Now, for some reason, some people really struggle with creating that little bratty sound. So I'm going to introduce to you the opposite of this bratty sound, which we call the dopey sound. We're going for a, a bit of a, a cartoon sound. Some people remember Deputy Dog or Yogi Bear. In, um, in these days, it's um, Scooby-Doo. You got to talk like this. So rather than saying, um, duh, I want you to try gee. This dopey sound, gee, you would do on this five tone scale. You can hear that uh, imposed lyrics, which creates a really dopey sound. Let's begin. Gee, 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 gee,
Now we'll do the same exercise, this time on the octave repeat. Exercise the dopey gi on the one and a half scale. <laughs> exercise vowel and consonant combination no we'll begin with this five tone scale no 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 consonant combination called mum. I want you to do it just a little bit with a m uh sound in it. Mum. We'll begin with this five tone scale. repeat 
That concludes the Pole High Lyrics vocal exercises.